is Dr. Samantha Smith. I am a physical therapist that specializes in knee replacements. Today in this video, I wanted to go over how to use your ice machine, specifically my favorite one, Active Ice. This is by Polar Products. This is my favorite ice machine. I have seen just about every ice machine um, at this point in my career, and this is my favorite one, so I have one to demonstrate for you guys. Before we get started on how to use this, I do want to mention my website and my Facebook group. So my website is succeedcourses.com. There is a ton of information on there for you guys all about knee replacement recovery. So please check it out. I also have four courses on my website that you guys can sign up for and you will know exactly how to get through your knee replacement recovery successfully. Read the reviews on the course. There are a lot of great reviews. And then my Facebook group, if you're not in it already, um, you can search on Facebook, Succeed With Your New Knee. Um, it is full of people who have been through a knee replacement recovery. Maybe they're planning now for one. So there's a lot of advice that you can get out of that Facebook group. So let's start with the review of the Active Ice Ice Machine. So the Ice Machine is a really great product to have after your knee replacement. So this is going to stay really cold. And that is exactly what you need after a knee replacement. The colder, the better. That's what my patients tell me from my experience, they want the ice to stay super cold. That's what helps them control their pain. Ice is also going to help control your swelling. So there's a lot of benefits to ice. Again, on my website, I have a full article about why you should be icing and why it helps. I kind of go into the science behind icing if you're interested. Um, so this product here, so it comes with this little cooler. So you want the pad that looks like this. There are several different options on their website and you want the one that looks like a rectangle. So they have one that's specific for knees, but that one doesn't work as well because we want this to go around the whole entire knee. The one on the website that says it's specific for knees, it only covers the front of the knee. You're going to want ice around the whole knee after your knee replacement. That's what's going to feel the best. And that's what's going to give you the best pain relief. So make sure that you have the, those full rectangle one, and that'll be the best option for you. So the first thing they say in the instructions is you can use ice or you can use frozen water bottles. So I'm going to put water bottles inside and they fit perfectly in size. These, these are full size water bottles but you can also use the small water bottles too. So whichever ones you have. And then inside the ice machine, there is a line and it tells you exactly where to fill up the water. So you're gonna fill up the water to that line. It also says inside, using frozen water bottles, place the bottles inside first and then fill with the water. So you wanna place the ice or the water bottles inside first and then you pour the water on top. So I'm gonna show you guys here. I brought some water with me and we're gonna fill it up to the line. All right, there we go. So easy enough, that is the first step. Second step, so it has this tubing here. You are going to connect the tubing together. It's super easy connect, to connect. And you can hear it will snap in place just like that. So super easy connect to connect. So that's all you're going to do here. Next, you're going to turn it on. Super easy to turn it on. All you do is plug it in. There are two different cords that you can buy. This comes with the ice machine. So all of these products come together. You're just going to plug this in and it immediately turns on. If you want to have a timer, so this is a timer. You can buy separate, it's an accessory. You will be able to set the amount of minutes you want to turn the product on and the amount of minutes you want the ice machine off. So this is really, really helpful after a knee replacement. A lot of people want to ice at nighttime and I do not recommend that you keep the ice machine on all night. That is not what you want after a knee replacement. You wanna do 20 minutes on, 20 minutes off. It's not, 
really recommended to have the ice on 24 seven. We want some of that blood flow there and the ice is going to impede the blood flow. So you don't want it on 24 seven. A lot of the times at the hospital, they do keep your ice on you 24 seven. That's okay, but when you get home, you do wanna start taking the ice off a little bit. So this timer can be really, really helpful. All of the links to these products will be down below in the description. And I have a code for you guys too to get 10% off anything on the website. You are going to use the code Dr. Sam 10 So I'll put it right here. You can use that for 10% off all the products on the website. So we're gonna use, we're gonna use the timer. So you connect the timer with the actual plugin. Then this plugin to the timer is gonna go into our cooler over here. Side of the cooler, there is a little spot where you can plug in the cord. So all it does is plug in really easily. If you don't have the timer, this is going to be your plug in. So the cord that goes to the wall, super easy. All you're going to do is plug it in just like that. So what we're going to demonstrate with the timer. So these ones connect here and then we're going to plug this in just like that. And then this guy is gonna go into the wall. So my device is plugged in. Now I'm gonna put this around my knee. So putting this around your knee is fairly easy. You're gonna make sure that you put this side down first. Obviously you don't wanna put this over and you know secure it this way. That wouldn't make any sense. So we're gonna put this one over first. And then this one goes on top. They give you the straps right here so you can secure it into place just like that and then all you're going to do is turn the device on so if you have the timer you will use the timer to turn it on and you're just going to push the red button in the middle and it's immediately going to start filtering water if you can hear it and it's getting nice and cold all throughout the knee sleeve here so this is set to 10 minutes on 10 minutes off but you can adjust it on this little device here so if you do not have the timer device, all you're gonna do is just plug this into the wall and then into the device and it starts right away. You don't have to press an on and off button. It just starts right away. It's super, super easy to use. So this is my favorite ice machine. Again, as you can see, it's super easy to use. Once you get it filled up with water and ice, put this on your knee, plug it in, you're done. Um, one of the cons of ice machines is they are a little bit bulky. So you have to carry this around with you if you wanted to ice at your couch and then take it over to your bed. So that's probably the only downside of an ice machine. I know my patients say that is the least of their worries. They just want pain relief. So they're going to go with the ice machine. Most people have an ice machine and some ice packs. Obviously, you can take the ice packs with you. If you were going out to a doctor's appointment or you have to go in the car or you just want to take something easy with you and go sit on the couch for 10 minutes and ice there so i would get both if you can uh, but the ice machine is so so critical in your knee replacement recovery i really really highly recommend it so polarproducts.com you'll want to go straight to the website and order this product i will place a link below this video, if you click right below the video, there's a little word that says more, click more, and it'll give you all the details in this video. To turn the product off, all you do is unplug it. If you have the timer, like we did earlier, all you're gonna do is click the red button and it will turn it off for you. All right, well, if you guys have any questions, please um, post them in the comments below. Please join the Facebook group. I can answer so many questions in there. I'm in that group all the time answering questions. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoy the product if you decide to buy it.